Hi everyone, this is Florence and today I'll be doing my home testing for the rapid antigen test and I will be using the Cadell and BD Veritor system source COVID-2 device. Before I started my testing, I had to make sure that all surfaces are sanitized, my hands are washed, and that I'm fully prepared for the testing so that I'm not infecting anything. And after the test, I have also sanitized and disposed the test kit properly. So I have here a rapid test kit and it contains the tester, a swab, and the test tube that has a solution. So I'm, I'm supposed to drop the solution here. And here, there's a letter C and a letter T. C is for control, and that will always have a line. And T is for whether you test positive or negative. So if there's a line under the T, so you'll have two lines, that's positive. But if there's only one, uh, under the C, then it's negative. The solution looks like this. Okay, so it has a little bit of liquid in there. Not all the way. So what we have to do, here's my swab, okay? So this swab goes inside, right? And you swirl the, swirl the swab around 10 times so it's kind of wet into the solution. And then you just lift it up a little bit so that the swab is not outside the bottle, but it's in within here, within the gridded lines. And then you squeeze, you squeeze this gridded line so that you can squeeze the swab before totally taking it out. Now you can dispose the swab after. So I've got my paper towels over here, one for blowing and one for where I'll dispose the swab. And then you can replace them because this one's off, right? So you can replace this yellow tab with the attached tab that is squeezable, okay? So once it's replaced there, don't shake it. And then you're going to take your system, the device, okay? You put it on a flat surface like that. And then you basically pour out the solution. You're gonna squeeze out about three drops. It'll tell you how many drops in here, okay? It says three. All right, over there. Okay, so you have to put three drops in there um, from this bottle. Don't shake it though, okay? Put three drops, and then as soon as you drop it, the letter C for control will have a line, but then gradually, uh, if you're positive, the letter T will also have a line. So you may have to, it, it may appear right away, or you may have to wait up to 10 to 15 minutes to get the results. So, um, what I'll do is I'll make sure that I time myself. Okay, I have the time um, to get the to get the results. So I probably won't show you the results so that this won't take too long. Or I'll probably show it to you and I'll just cut it, fast forward it to where the results are. Um, and then, yeah, but I'll show you the procedure on how to do this. So, okay. So here's my paper towel. I'm gonna blow my nose. Okay, so I can feel that my nose is wet inside. Okay, my nose is wet inside. Do I have symptoms? I had like a little dry and scratchy throat earlier. So, okay, here go. So kind of like I just kind of measure my one inch right there. And I didn't really touch the swab, but I'm just kind of putting it right here so I know that I'm supposed to get this all this inside my nose so i'm just gonna slide my finger there a little bit and then just to leave room for it and then i'm gonna swab it 10 times four five six seven eight nine ten now other side one two three four five six seven 
it's wet. <laughs> now, I'm going to open this. Come on, open, okay, let's open. And then I'm going to put this inside. Okay, and I'm supposed to swirl it 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. <laughs> okay, now I'm supposed to lift this thing up right here and then squeeze it. But here, let me use my dominant arm, hand. Okay, lift it up to there and squeeze it. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. So I'm just squeezing the head of that thing out. Okay. Squeeze, okay. I squeeze it, eh. Okay. Darn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot to be squeezed in there. Oh, there's really like stuff in there. Okay. I guess that's it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just cover that up. So they said don't shake it. Three drops onto my system. One, two, three. So then this is where I'll end and then I'll show you the result a little later. But just before that, let me just show you what that looks like right there. See how there's a pink line? Can you see the pink line like rising up? So I guess I'm assuming it's going to rise up all the way. Um, and then I'm, I guess I'm just going to time it. So it's like 8.52 right now. And I'll be back within 10 to 15 minutes. I right. got my test result. And as you can see, I'm smiling. I'm not worried because it's negative. So oh, here's my test result, okay? Oh, I don't know if you can focus that, you can see that. Yeah, but anyway, that's my test result. There's only one line, there's not two lines, so it's negative. I have no COVID, but still precaution and drink lots of fluid. Um, for those who had COVID, uh, I pray that you would get better soon and stay safe out there everyone these are unprecedented times and don't think that you can't ever get covid because it is lurking out there so our enemy is invisible so to speak and if you feel that this video is helpful give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos like this i'll try to uh give you good content just be careful, stay safe, God bless, bye.